Hey, Darman fam, welcome to our second annual Thanksgiving special. Just like last year, I have Ella Rose, Laura, plus our newest hey. addition, Myla Sky. Hi, say hello to the Darman Hi. fam. Can you say hello? Is there anything you want to say to our Darman fam? No? You just want a nap, huh? <laughs> I bet everyone watching cannot believe how much you've grown since last year. <laughs> All right, well, thank you girls for always supporting your daddy, daddy. and being here. I appreciate it so much. Okay, you're gonna go with your mom so we can start this special, okay? Give that a hug. Okay, give that a hug. <laughs> okay, I love you, baby. All right, you're going with your mom. <laughs> All right, bye, baby. Give dad, hey. Yeah, give dad kisses. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's get this special going. This year, I've got something really exciting in store for you guys. We have our first ever feature length film. It's a really heartwarming story about a girl who finds out she's adopted on her 15th birthday. She goes through a journey full of twists and turns to find out who her real parents are, only to learn the true meaning of family along the way. My incredible team worked really hard on this, so we hope you love this story as much as we do. Now, before we start today's video, I wanna talk about the one word that always comes to mind when thinking about Thanksgiving. And no, I'm not talking about turkey. I'm talking about gratitude. No matter what our situation is, we all have so many things to be grateful for, whether that's good health, a roof over our heads, or having friends and family that love us. So if you're watching this with your loved ones, then you are more blessed than you even know. And even if you're watching this alone, please know that you're never alone because you always have your Darman fam. Here at Darman Studios, we certainly have a lot to be grateful for. Three years ago, when I started making videos in my living room, I would struggle to even break 1,000 views. I was full of self-doubt and constantly second-guessed myself. But to be where we are today is a blessing that I cannot even begin to describe. It really goes to show how much the world needs positive content now more than ever. I'm so grateful for every one of you that have watched our videos, left positive comments, or shared them with others. I appreciate you all so much. All right, I don't wanna make you wait any longer. I have a very, very special surprise plan for you guys coming a little bit later on that I know you're gonna be super excited about. But before I talk about that, let's go ahead and start today's video. Did you like it? All right, well, um, I better go to sleep. I have school in the morning. Good night. Love you guys. Oh, hold on a sec. We have something we'd like to 
talk to you about? Uh, okay. It's okay, it can wait until later. James, no. We have pushed this off long enough. Push what off? What are you guys talking about? Sweetheart, before I say anything, we just want you to know how much we love you. And that is never going to change. Okay. What we're trying to say is that Is that you're adopted? <laughs> yeah, right. Good one. Being serious? So you, you're not my parents? No, we are. Just not your biological ones. And you're just telling me now? We promised each other that we would tell you on your 15th birthday. We just wanted you to be old enough to understand. Okay, okay. So how, how old was I when you guys got me? You were just a baby. Why did they give me up? Oh, sweetheart, I am sure that they loved you in their own way. Okay, well, I, I want to meet them. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. Why not? Who are my biological parents? Hello? We can't tell you. What do you mean you can't tell me? Your mom and I have discussed this a lot, and we have decided that it is best if you don't know. How are you going to say that for me? I have the right to know! Trust us, it's better if you don't. I trust you? Do you want me to trust you? How can I trust you? When you guys have been lying to me my entire life. And even though you still won't tell me the truth. We didn't lie to you, we just... We just didn't tell you. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel so much better. Sabrina, wait! <laughs> Sabrina, honey, let's talk about this, please. There's nothing to talk about. You guys aren't even my real family. Yes, we are. No, you're not. How could we be when we don't even share the same blood? Family doesn't require blood. It only... It requires love. Honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Can you just... Could you stop for a second? Where are you even gonna go? To find my real parents and stay with them! I don't want to be here anymore! No, I'm sorry. I am not letting you go anywhere by yourself at this hour. You no longer have the right to tell me what to do! Yes, I do! I am still your father! Stop! If 
you leave now, how are you even going to know where to go? Let's just sleep on it. I will talk about everything tomorrow. Please. Mom, fine. But as soon as I find my Rupert, I'm out of here. Okay. If that's what you really want. But just know that we are going to love you. No matter what. <laughs> Get out of my room! I want to be alone! Sabrina. I said get out! What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep and saw your story. Uh, what happened? Nothing. Other than I just had the worst birthday in history. You're joking. I wish I was. You're not going to believe this, but I just found out that I adopted. What? Exactly. So, uh, who are your old parents? And that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm on the site that does DNA tests, but it takes six weeks to get results. But I really don't want to wait that long. Why don't you just ask your mom and dad? You mean the people that adopted me? They won't tell me. Why not? I don't know. Clearly, they like hiding things from me. Either way, I'm gonna figure this out on my own. There has to be some type of document somewhere. They probably even keep it in the house. I've literally been searching for the past hour. I haven't found anything. Uh, you know, whenever my parents are trying to hide something, they put it in the attic. That's why I always know my birthday gifts before getting them. Oh, yeah. The attic. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna go look right now. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're going through all of this, especially on your birthday. Thanks. See you at school tomorrow. Bye.
Where are you going? To talk to Sabrina? <clears throat> About what? I'm sorry. I, I have to tell her. We agreed not to. I know, but I can't stop thinking about what she must be going through. No one, if I was her, I would want to know too. Okay, I understand that this is hard, but we have to stick to the plan. <laughs> you don't want to hurt her feelings anymore, do you? Any luck? You're a genius. Look what I got. Your birth certificate. And it even has your parents' names on it. Yep. And I already found um, 
my dad, Darius Mulgannon. He's in jail? Oh. Sorry, uh, what about your mom, Candy Johnson? It's too common of a name. There's over 97 million search results. I'll never be able to narrow it down. That's why I'm going to ask my dad to help me find her when I see him later. You're going to jail? Did I just hear that correctly? Oh, hi, Mr. Soublé. Is uh, Sabrina going into jail? Uh, uh no, no uh, we were just, uh, just, just, uh, you, you know. Acting, you know, um, trying to stay in character like you always teach us. <laughs> Brilliant. No wonder your performance in the play last week was so magnificent. The way you were able to cry on cue, just incredible. Thanks. Are you sure I can't convince you to be in the Thanksgiving play? It's not too late. Sorry, I, I just have a lot going on right now. Okay, no problem. It's always Christmas, right? I'll see you in class. Bye. Why didn't he say anything about my acting? Oh, that's not the point. You almost got me in trouble. Sorry, I just can't believe where you're going. I'd be so scared. Scared about what? It's my dad. He's probably going to be so excited that I came to see him. Yeah, but how are you gonna get in? Don't you need an adult to go with you? <laughs> Let's just say I plan on using a little bit of acting. take these inside, but thank you for the surprise. <laughs> we'll see you at home for dinner. Jackie helped me bake you a cake, didn't you, Jackie? Really? You <laughs> baked the cake? <laughs> well, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now say goodbye. Bye, Daddy. Love All right. you. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye, honey. See you later. Hey. Are you all right? No. Oh, please don't cry. What's your name? Sabrina. It was nice to meet you, Sabrina. I'm Darrell. Now, tell me what's wrong. Please? Today's my dad's birthday, and every year I come to see him, but this is going to be the first time I can. Is your dad an inmate? Where's your mom? Sick. Really sick, so she couldn't breathe me. How'd you get here? I walked. We, we only live a few blocks away. I don't want to see him, but that... 
You can talk to me. That what? I don't love him anymore. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm sure he'll understand that something important came up. This is the only day I come to see him. I, I mean, imagine if your daughter didn't come to see you on your birthday. How would you feel? What's your dad's name? I don't usually do this, but follow me. Stand up. <sighs> Come on, you know the routine. Give me your hands. Step back. Unlock cell 314. Go, Morgana. You have a visitor. You would come to visit me. Apparently, your daughter. Daughter? You got 10 minutes. I won't need that long. What do you want? I think you're like your dad. If you came here to ask me for money, you can get in line. There's no way I'm going to start giving I'm not out. here for that. You're not? Then why are you here? Excited if you brought me a pack of cigarettes and some decent toilet paper. <laughs> now, if you don't got anything else to talk about, I'm gonna get out of here. Wait! with avoiding the police and and with what? unwanted children coming back to find you
I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Hold on. Sabrina, I made you dinner. Sabrina! Go away! I made your favorite! Please open the door, honey. I don't want any of your food! Now leave me alone! You'll at least have Thanksgiving with us tomorrow, right? Stupid. Welcome back. I hope you're loving this story so far. I can't wait for you to see what happens with Sabrina next. As we like to say around here, the ending will shock you. Now, for those of you loyal members of the Darman fam, you'll remember that there were a lot of incredible moments at last year's Thanksgiving special, but there was one moment that captured our hearts more than any other. Let's take a look. I would say if you have any type of grudge or you have any type of ill feeling with any family member, let it go. Because you never know that, you never know when is the last time that you're gonna see them. You know, life is unpredictable. We all share life. We all breathe the same air. But the one thing that we don't have control over is what happens in life. We never know if there's gonna be an accident, never know if there's gonna be a heart attack, stroke, any of that kind of stuff, or a fatal illness. We don't, we don't know that. So just because they're here today doesn't mean that they'll be here tomorrow. This year, we lost our beloved actor and friend, Carl Judy. While it was devastating dealing with his loss, there was something really incredible that happened at the same time. There was an outpour of love from people all over the world. Our Dar Man fam left hundreds of thousands of comments for Carl sharing just how big of an impact he made on their lives. Carl was larger than life, and given how important that he was to all of us, it only felt right to dedicate this year's Thanksgiving special to him. So that's why I've decided to invite Sharon Judy, Carl's wife, to come here today. Sharon, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Dawn. It's so nice to see you. You as well. Thank you for having <laughs> of me. Of course. Please have a seat. Thank you. 
Oh, it is so nice to finally get a chance to meet you. Thank you. Uh, really Carl would speak about you all the time. I feel like I've gotten to know you just by how much he would speak about you. That makes me feel good. Thank you. <laughs> and vice versa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I remember um, the very first time that Carl had described you. I believe we were filming something for last year's Thanksgiving special mm -hmm. on a Zoom call. And I believe he was in Palm Springs yes. celebrating your birthday. Celebrating my birthday last year, last uh, November. Last November. And was that a surprise that it he... was? <laughs> oh my gosh! So was that just the kind of guy Carl was? He was. He liked to uh, surprise me with little things that he knew would make me smile. Oh, so, that absolutely. is so special. So I still remember one day we were on set and Carl showed up with the new car, and everybody was so congratulatory to him and say, "Hey, Carl, congratulations! You got a new car." And he said, "Oh no, it's not my car. It's for my wife." <laughs> <laughs> that was for my birthday as well. What's funny is oh he uh, hadn't told me he was buying the car. He had asked me a few months ago what would be my dream car. And I said, mm, probably a Lincoln. He says, this is the third Lincoln we've had. So I like a Lincoln, though. So he surprised me with the Lincoln last year in November. Was that how Carl was? He was always trying to do things for others yes. and had a big heart? Yes. I had always wanted to be that teenage girl who received a car with a bow on it for her 16th <laughs> birthday. So fast forward 40 plus years later, and he did exactly what I wow. wanted without even knowing that was my desire. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you never even told him. No. And he just made that never happen. <laughs> so your teenage fantasy came true. Exactly. Oh my gosh. And the surprise party. I never had a surprise party either. Oh. So. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> yes. And I can't believe that was just a year ago. Yes. Yeah. Time and um, it's been such a whirlwind. I can't imagine how difficult this year must have been and how many ups and downs. Yes. Um, how have you been dealing with everything? Well, I've uh, just like you said, I have my ups and downs, but my happy memories keep me grounded. Uh, they keep me afloat. I still receive a lot of inbox messages from people that really, really loved him. People I probably will never meet, but they reach out to me to let me know Mr. Carl was well loved. Aww. So that keeps me going. Yeah, it was unbelievable seeing how much love and support came from people all over the world. What was it like reading all of those comments? It was overwhelming, but in a good way. And I don't think he ever realized the influence that he had on people. He was just very, very humble. The way that you portrayed him or had him portray himself, that was really the way he was. As the mentor, just the laid back kind of guy giving the good advice, very, very humble. And that's the way he lived his life. Uh, you know, it's funny. He always said, Dar, give me a bad guy role. And I said, Carl, I just can't do it because the audience will never see you the same again. They only see you as this gentle teddy bear. Absolutely. Uh, everyone felt so connected to Carl. It's as if they it. really knew him. And I didn't realize how deep that connection was until I just saw that yes. community support. Absolutely. If Carl was here, what do you think he would tell the fans in response to all of the love that they left for him? I believe he would honestly say thank you You're from the bottom of his heart. And that's the same thing I would like to say too, is because Aww. of all of the love I've received uh, on his behalf, it has really reiterated with me just how much love makes the world go round. Yeah. And I just, I'm very, very thankful, especially during this season. This is my first Thanksgiving without him. And oh. so I'm already a little uh, anxious about it, but I know that uh, his spirit and his memory continues to live on. Yeah, that is so beautiful. And you'll be able to watch our Thanksgiving special, Yay. which we are <laughs> honoring in Carl's name and your whole family's name. So it. hopefully that will give you some comfort. I'm sure there's gonna be so many comments on this video, just saying how much they love you and oh, Carl and your whole family. The reason, there's two reasons actually that I had you come today is because number one, I just knew how excited everybody would be to see you oh, and to get to meet you. you. And also, it's because we have three surprises that are planned for you today. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> are you ready to see the first surprise? I think I am. <laughs> okay, well, let's, we're gonna go outside for this one. So okay. Right this way. Alrighty, thank you very much. <laughs> of course. Okay, so for this first surprise, we wanted to do something that would really memorialize just how big of an impact Carl made on all of our lives. So behind this curtain here, I have something really special. Would you mind just standing right over there for a okay. second? Thank you. 
and let me know whenever you're ready and I'll go ahead and pull this down. I'm ready. Okay. It's beautiful. Wow. It captured him very, very well. It's beautiful. I was so amazed when I saw it. Wow. It captured every detail about him, too. <laughs> oh, what thoughts are going through your mind right now? He's at peace. I see the doves, uh, the halo, and the wings. Very, very angelic. Uh, thank you for this, Dar. Of course. Thank you. Wow, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. And so for our second surprise, as you know, Carl was in a lot of our films. Can you guess how many films Carl was in? I want to say, uh, he and I talked earlier last year, I want to say about 30, maybe 35. So it was actually 60 films that he was in. 60. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> but... Do you know how many films we shot with him? 60? 61. Which means we actually have one film that we've never released before. Really? Would you like to see it? I would. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, great. I'm going to be showing it to you right inside. Okay. But first, let's go ahead and finish the second half of our feature film. Please make sure you guys stick around to the end to see all of Sharon's three surprises and to watch Carl's final film. Let's go ahead and resume the movie. I would have been so scared. It definitely wasn't what I hoped for, but at least I know I have a sister. And her address. Oh, that's actually close here. Yeah, I'm really hoping she's nice. And that she can help me find my mom. How do you know they don't live together? Oh, I... I didn't think about that. So, you're saying my mom gave me up, kept my sister? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. But anything is possible. Why is my mom? Oh, I, I got to stop calling her that. I'm changing her name right now. Are you sure all of this is a good idea? I mean, if your mom really wanted to meet you, she would have done it by now. Maybe she did and couldn't find me, or maybe she's looking for me right now, who knows? Either way, I, I can't give up till I find her. I have to know the truth. So you're just gonna show up at your sister's doorstep on Thanksgiving? Yeah. I'm her blood. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I guess. Can I help you? Hi. Are you Bella's mom? <laughs> no, honey. I'm the maid. Who's there? I'm finding out right now. And you are? Oh, I'm Bella's um, friend, Sabrina. We grew up together. <laughs> You did, but she's so much older than you are. 
Oh, I meant, um, she used to babysit me. Hi. <gasps> oh, <laughs> this is Sabrina. Uh, apparently, Bella used to babysit her. Really? Wow, I don't think I've ever met anyone from Bella's past. I'm Dave, Bella's fiance. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, come on in. She's not in right now, but hang on until she gets here. We're having Thanksgiving here tonight. I'm sure Bella would have no problem with you joining. Oh, I'm sure you know Belle's mom. Oh, hello. Why do you look so familiar? Uh. Belle used to babysit Sabrina. Oh, of course. I knew I recognized you. Gosh, it's, it's been so long. How have you been? Good. Well, uh, why don't you have a seat? I'd love to learn more about you. Actually, I would love to show Sabrina around the house first, and then we all can just sit down and have a little chat. I'm sure Bella will be here by then. It's a great idea. Well, come on, dear. Can I offer you anything? Water? Juice? I'm OK. Thank you. Now tell me exactly who you are and where you came from. Uh, Does Bella know that you're here? No. What have you said to David? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna need you to leave before Bella. Hi, Be Mom. Bella, <laughs> you scared me. I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry, I came through the back. Um, I didn't know we were expecting company. We're not. Sabrina just showed up and almost ruined everything. Do I know you? Uh, she said you used to babysit her. I've never babysat a day in my life. What? Okay, so who are you really? I'm sorry. I, I lied. I, I didn't know what else to say when your maid asked how I know you. The truth is, Sister. Sister? Yeah. Which means you're my mom. I know it's hard to believe, but. Hello. Hey, honey, I'll be right there. Shoot. We need you to leave right now. I'll go distract Dave. You just get her out. Come with me. <laughs> Don't you get. We don't have time for this right now. You have to go. Come on. <laughs> Look, I don't want you feeling bad. She's not your mom. She's not. No. I'm adopted. But um, I never told my fiance. Why wouldn't you tell him? Well, when your birth dad's a prisoner and your mom's a. I don't even know what to say about her. It's not exactly something to be proud of, so I never told Dave, and I asked my new mom not to either. 
that's why she freaked out when you showed up. You don't feel bad lying to your fiance? Let's not act like you're some innocent little angel either. You just lied to get inside, didn't you? Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. I'd always planned on telling him. At first I thought, hold off until we're engaged. And now it's after the baby comes. I just postponed it for so long now, I, I don't even know how to explain it. So, did you know about me? But not until recently. Not until after our mom came by. Thank God Dave wasn't home. She came here. Do you know how I could find her? It's taking you so long. He's asking for you. I'll be right there. Okay. I'm sorry, but I have to go. If you really want to find her, which I highly suggest you don't, Here's where to go. Sasha Whitlock asked you for money? After 20 years, that's the only reason she came to see me. Can you believe it? Anyway, I gotta go. Um, I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh. If you ever want to come visit me, you live in 213 Grand Street. I hate to say this, but I'm not gonna come visit you. And please don't come back here either. Not because I don't wanna see you, but because... I hope you understand. been gone all day. I really hope she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. She's dealing with a lot right now. It's understandable. Yeah, but what if she's not? We should call the police. I mean, she's just a child after all. She's smarter than a lot of adults I know. She's going to come home, okay? Don't worry. If she's not back in an hour, we'll call, okay? Okay. Uh, you got the stuff? Uh, excuse me? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait! What? Check it to make sure it's not watered down! Man, it's not even him. It's some little girl. What do you want? 
for you. Sasha Whitlock. Get out of here. How do you know that name? Are you the police? No, I'm only 15 years old. <sighs> okay. Then why are you here? I'm trying to find my mom. She used to go by. Candy Johnson? You said he'd be here by now. That's what he told me. Well, call him. Ow. Yeah, how many minutes left? Uh. Uh. Is it okay if I come in? You got any cash on you? I might have a few dollars. You got me cigarettes, do you? No. So, um, you are Sasha, right? <laughs> Haven't gone by that name in a long time. Uh, well, I guess that means you're my mom. So what do you want? A cookie? No. But I am hungry. Go look in the fridge. OK. But don't eat the orange that's in there. That's mine. That's the only thing there is to eat in here. Well, you better not even think about eating it. Hey. Uh, come here. You, uh, you got a cell phone? Yeah. Could you unlock that? Here. Now call him. Uh, what else you got? Got any pills? Why would I have that? <sighs> Tell me again why you're here. Well. I was hoping to stay with you. We're right to voicemail. Try again. So, can I? Uh, sure, whatever. All right. Great. Um, is there a room I should put my stuff in? Room? You're looking at it. Here, you can use this pillow. Uh, thanks. Um, is there a blanket? What do you think this is, Target? <laughs> do you mean Target? Hey, don't you come into my house and try to insult me. Sorry. No answer. 
Okay, you know what? Uh, Let's hit the street. Uh, yeah. I'm sure we can find some there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys are leaving? Mm -hmm. What about my phone? We'll bring it back. Try not to make a mess while we're gone. <sighs> oh, thanks for nothing. It's like they're not even trying to help. You heard what she said. If it's within 24 hours, the missing person usually just comes home on their own. Yeah, but what if she doesn't, James? Then what? She has never not come home like this. Please, you just need to stay calm, okay? Why don't you eat a little something? possibly eat at a time like this. I just want to know that she's okay. Still here? Hey, you, you, you didn't eat me. You didn't eat my orange. Still here. Uh, I didn't know. Good. Hey, um, do you want to help me with my homework? Why would I do that? Um, I don't know, because I'm your daughter. Does it even matter? You that I came to see you. You think if I want you to come see me, I will give you up for adoption? Huh? That's too much. Hey, hey, Gary. <laughs> Gary? Wake up! It's her bed! Gary! Sorry. You should just get half sleep on the floor now. Right here. Lady, Zindi. She keeps calling. She's like, call like a hundred times. That's my Get a life, lady. Buzzkill.
I don't think she's gonna pick up, honey. I knew we should have told her. <laughs> we should have told Please, her. Please, you have to stop blaming yourself. <laughs> about your parents, we were- Yes, were... okay. I understand now. You... They were just trying to protect me. Yes, exactly. What does that mean that you actually- Is it okay if we talk about everything later? I haven't eaten all day and I'm really hungry. Oh my gosh, my poor baby, of course. You must be starving. Let me fix you a plate. You're right, you know. About what? Family doesn't require blood. Let me help you. Is not going to eat? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll get it. Can I help you? Um, hi. I'm Bella, Sabrina's um, sister. I was wondering if- Bella! What are you doing here? Well, um, after our talk, I decided to come clean and tell David everything. Oh, you did? Uh, how do you take it? Surprisingly, he was really supportive. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Um, anyway, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just, I wanted to let you know you're welcome to come over anytime. Really? Thanks, that, that means a lot. Um, okay, well, um, I guess I'll see you later then. <laughs> Wait! We were just about to have Thanksgiving dinner. Would you like to join us? Uh, yeah. That's a great idea. Um, uh, I, I would, but um, I already ate. <laughs> oh, come on. Thanksgiving is the one time of the year you're supposed to have seconds. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a seat here, and I will fix you a plate. Thank you. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, sorry. Um, this is my dad, and that's my mom. Hi. <laughs> and this is my sister, Bella. It's nice to meet you guys. Uh, wait a sec. Dad, uh, go over there. Mom, stand over there. Um, what are we doing? Uh, taking a family pic. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Sabrina's sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Thanks. 
Thanks, guys. Now let's eat. Finding your mom? No. Actually, I came in for some money. Let me guess, it's a iPhone? <gasps> yep, I was right. <laughs> How in the world do you always know what we got you? She guessed it again. I'm telling you, the girl has superpowers. I mean, it's... <laughs> I guess it's just good intuition. <laughs> yeah. You see that, Some don't you? Are you kidding? I where she got that it's from. No, one. you're gonna have to let me use that. No. Three cameras? What a powerful message, especially during the holidays. I still cannot believe that we just released our very first ever feature film. I hope you guys loved it as much as we loved making it for you. And as you can probably guess, there's gonna be a lot more feature films to come. Now, Sharon, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Are you ready to watch Carl's final film with us? I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm myself. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and play this video. There you go. You look like a brand new man. Wow. I haven't had a haircut in so long, I almost forgot what I look like. Here, this is all I have. No, keep it. I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world comes back to you. So it's free of charge. Just remember to one day pay it forward. Thank you so much. I promise I will. Marvin Lewis? Yes? I'm here to serve you with this eviction notice. It's time to go. 
No, please. I, I just need a couple more days to get the money. Well, maybe if you weren't given free haircuts, you'd have the money now. Your time's up. I can't lose my shot. I've been here for 20 years. Please, sir. Don't do this to me. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. The place just sold anyways, and the new owner should be here any minute. You gotta go. Oh, it's okay, he doesn't have to leave. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Calvin. I'm the new owner. <laughs> I can handle it from here. You don't have to leave. This man hasn't paid his rent. Oh, fine. I guess that's your problem now. Thank you so much, sir. I promise. I'll have the money for rent soon. No, no, you do not have to worry about that. From now on, your rent is free of charge. What? I, I don't understand. Why would you do that for me? Because of what you did for me 20 years ago. You see... I'm sorry, but this is a private office. We don't allow- oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually here for the uh, assistant position. You know, to apply for a job. Oh, um, let me talk to my boss. Would you mind waiting out here? Sure. Is that the guy? Yeah. No. Hey, I have an interview scheduled. Hey! Let's just say it wasn't exactly easy for me to get a job looking like that. Hi, I'm Calvin. I'm applying for the... When was the last time you showered? Um... It's been a couple weeks, sir. Why is it that you're here, exactly? To apply for the assistant position. But I'll take any opportunity that you have. <laughs> you, you want to get into real estate. What could you possibly know about this field? Not much right now, but I'm willing to learn, and, and I've always been interested in it. <laughs> oh, how ironic is that? A homeless guy getting into real estate. That's great. Just keeps getting better and better. Look, I know I don't look like much. My house burned down in a fire. I lost everything. My car, my clothes, even my family. And to make matters even worse, I, I lost my job too. So please, please, if you just give me a chance, I promise I will be the hardest worker you've ever hired. You have a lot of heart. 
I don't know if you're telling me the truth or not, but I'll tell you what. So you want to learn about real estate, right? Yeah. Lesson number one, resourcefulness. I want you to get cleaned up. The new outfit too. With that. And if you can do it by, uh, let's say, today, I will give you a job. Sound good? But sir, a haircut alone would cost $20. Well, you better be resourceful then. I wish you luck. Are you open? Uh, hello? Have a seat. Thanks. Listen, but before you get started, I, I just want you to know that, um, oh. I, I don't really have, I don't have much. How do you want your cut? Honestly, anything would be better than this. But I, I don't have much money. What's your name? Calvin. I'm not worried about your money, Calvin. What do you think? To be honest, I almost forgot what I look like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here. This is all I have. No, don't worry about it. I think you need it more than I do. What? Really? I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. I. I actually have a job interview today. My interview? Give me a second. There's a sink in the back. It's not much, but it'll help. Afterwards, put this on. Oh my God. Thank you. But please, please take this. I, I have to give you something. No, you don't. Just remember, one day, when you're able to, just pay it forward. I will. I definitely will. Bathroom's in the back. From then on, my life just started getting better. I ended up getting the job as an assistant. Before long, I was learning all about real estate. Eventually, I moved on up to becoming a realtor. It didn't take me long to start closing lots of real estate deals. Over time, I even became an investor and started buying my own properties including this one right here. 
times over. You see, 20 years ago, you gave me a free haircut. <laughs> and I'll never forget what you said. You said, the kindness that you put into the world will always come back to you. So, this is your kindness coming back to you. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I don't know how I can ever repay you. You don't have to pay me. Just... Never stop paying for it. sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when the skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you so please don't take my sunshine away i'm a family person i love family there's nothing better than the love of family there's no other woman on the planet that I would rather be with than you. If you have any type of grudge or you have any type of ill feeling with any family member, let it go. This means more than you realize. You know, life is unpredictable. We all share life. We all breathe the same air. But the one thing that we don't have control over is what happens in life. So just because they're here today doesn't mean that they'll be here tomorrow. I'll be back. People can change. From nice to me. Oh! You really changed my life. Oh my God. I needed that. I just realized that my life did make a difference. Oh my gosh, I can barely even talk right now. That was beautiful. And life did make a difference. This life did make a difference. How did it feel watching that? There were so many emotions. Uh, I remembered each one of those. That was a great surprise <laughs> to see one that I hadn't seen yet. I didn't know that you had one up your sleeve. <laughs> but it, it was amazing. That was, that was him. He lived to, to be an example. And he lived to, to mentor people. And that's exactly what the compilation showed. Yeah. It's true spirit. You know, the number one comment that I see when people describe Carl is that he always has me in tears. And, <laughs> you know, here almost a year after he's gone, once again, he has us all in tears. We've been saving this video. I remember wow. when I first found out that we had some extra footage left, wow. I was so excited and I said, we absolutely have to dedicate our Thanksgiving special and we have to have Carl's wife here. So I can't tell you how special this means to not only our whole community, but also to me personally and this whole team. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This was amazing. This was an amazing day for me. And yeah. I know he's looking down from heaven and just saying, thank the Darman fam for taking care of me. Thank and you. loving me the way you all have. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, it makes me so incredibly happy yeah. to have you here today to celebrate our second Thanksgiving special and Carl's life. Yes. So to end, I know I told you that we have three surprises planned for you. 
And for this third one, we all felt passionate about doing something to honor Carl's name and his whole legacy. Uh, and if there's one thing we know about Carl is during his lifetime, he helped change a lot of lives. And now, even after he's gone, he's continuing to do so. Because on behalf of Carl and Sharon Judy, we're gonna be making a $25,000 donation to the Dave Thomas Foundation, which is an organization that's focused on helping make sure that every foster child gets adopted Adopted and finds a safe and loving home. So with this donation, hopefully some families' lives will change in your family's name thank and you honor. So much. Wow, what an honor. Thank you so much. Of course, and thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And this has been such an incredible evening. If you would like to also help children in foster care find permanent homes, the link to donate is down in the description. Thank you guys once again so much for your support. I can't wait to show you the Christmas special that we have planned for you. Of course, it's not gonna be the same without Carl. Please remember that we're not just telling stories, changing lives. We're changing lives. <laughs> Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video.